Did you know that today's vehicle engines run best at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit? Your cooling system, which includes the water pump, thermostat, and coolant hoses, work together to quickly get the engine up to operating temperature and keep it there. If any of those break down, your vehicle could too. That doesn't have to happen. Maintain the vehicle's coolant and the system parts at the manufacturer's recommended mileage intervals. If you are having cooling system work, replace the upper and lower hoses. If you are replacing a water pump, flush the cooling system and order a belt, tensioner, and pulleys for a complete repair. Be system smart. Protect the ride with Gates OEM recommended preventative cooling system maintenance. Automotive technology is continuously changing, including the cooling system and its hoses. You might view coolant hoses as simple pieces of rubber that are not a common failure point. In this series on modular cooling hoses, we'll show you why that is no longer the case, review best practices to follow when inspecting modular hoses, and give you the tools you need to effectively communicate the importance of a complete cooling system repair to your customer. Hoses have traditionally been simple port-to-port -port connections that provide a flexible link between individual components in the cooling system. Today, they have evolved into complex units that take on multiple functions within that system. Modern automotive cooling and heater hoses come in many configurations. They can include components such as quick connectors, tees, branched outlets, and more specialized parts. These are called modular hoses. Virtually every OE manufacturer is moving to modular hoses because of their ease of installation on the assembly line and their ability to better manage the flow of coolant throughout today's increasingly complex cooling systems. Not only do these hoses have multiple branches and specialized connectors, but in some applications they can include sensor ports, control valves, bleeder valves, check valves, and flow restrictors. These added components on modular hoses create more potential failure points than traditional hoses. Failure to address these problem areas can lead to issues such as leaks and overheating. Those could require your customer to come back a second time for the same general complaint. Modular hoses can be found on a wide range of applications, both import and domestic. Any vehicle containing a liquid-cooled turbocharger system, battery packs, or other components that require liquid coolant will feature at least one connection through a modular hose. Additionally, sensors directing coolant to different locations on the vehicle often lead to pressure surges above the 15 to 20 PSI found in traditional cooling systems. These surges can only be sustained by using the highly engineered components that are found on modular hose assemblies. Finally, if a quick connector or branch fails on a modular hose, it's not as simple as just replacing that individual component. Because all components on that modular hose assembly have been operating in the same torturous environment, they are all facing a similar level of degradation, and the entire hose assembly should be replaced. If one component in the assembly has failed, additional component failures may not be far behind, and it's critical to only install modular hoses manufactured to OEM specifications, like those from Gates. Automotive technology is continuously changing, including the cooling system and its hoses. You might view coolant hoses as simple pieces of rubber that are not a common failure point. In this series on modular cooling hoses, we'll show you why that is no longer the case, review best practices to follow when inspecting modular hoses, and give you the tools you need to effectively communicate the importance of a complete cooling system repair to your customer. This video will discuss the failure points associated with rubber on modular coolant hoses, including both the O-rings found in quick connectors and the general degradation of rubber on the hose itself. O-rings create the seal between male and female quick disconnect components when they are mated. Over time, the O-ring takes a profile matching the sealing surface of the connectors. When a quick connector is removed from its port, that O-ring seal is lost. This means when the two are reconnected, the O-ring may no longer fully conform to the sealing surface, and a leak point can be generated. Additionally, as the hoses age, O-rings lose their pliability, becoming brittle, and can eventually crack. 
This creates another potential leak point that should be addressed as a preventative measure. Replacing the O-ring would seem to be the easy fix. However, it's not that simple. Unlike some situations where diameter is the only concern in selecting an O-ring, there is more to consider with modular coolant hoses. Quick connector O-rings utilize a variety of materials, sizes, and shapes, meaning replacement with a non-OEM equivalent O-ring will likely lead to leaks from the connection point. Another concern is that the rubber portion of the hose can deteriorate over time. Gates recommends beginning with an external inspection of the hose assembly. Look for any wear spots from abrasion, cracking due to ozone, signs of exposure to excess heat, and fluid contamination on the hose's outer surface. Heat damage is of particular concern on hoses that reside on top of the engine or are rooted close to high temperature areas on the vehicle, such as the exhaust or turbocharger system. It can be identified by a hardened, glossy look and small cracks on the hose's surface. External contaminants can come from leaking or spilled petroleum products such as oil, brake fluid, or power steering fluid. Make all repairs needed to eliminate sources of external abrasion, heat exposure, and fluid contamination. Once you have completed any repairs related to external damage, or if you do not find any concerns externally, inspect for internal wear. Physically squeeze the hose two to four inches away from both ends with your thumb and two fingers. Then squeeze the middle section of the hose, checking for a notable difference between the feel at the ends and in the middle. If the ends feel softer, the hose has fallen victim to electrochemical degradation, or ECD, exposure to extreme internal heat, or other sources of coolant contamination, and should be replaced immediately. Internally worn hoses are susceptible to weeping, as well as hose ply separations and tube failure. All of these issues can lead to other cooling system issues if the worn hose is not addressed. To prevent damaging leaks and vehicle comebacks, Gates recommends that you inspect the modular hose assembly and all associated components inside and out whenever a customer comes in for a cooling system repair. If there is any doubt on the condition of the hose assembly, restore the cooling system to its original state with a new assembly from Gates. Automotive technology is continuously changing, including the cooling system and its hoses. You might view coolant hoses as simple pieces of rubber that are not a common failure point. In this series on modular cooling hoses, we'll show you why that is no longer the case, review best practices to follow when inspecting modular hoses, and give you the tools you need to effectively communicate the importance of a complete cooling system repair to your customer. Today, we are going to discuss the plastic components that make up a modular hose, the role those components play in today's cooling systems, and their potential for failure. Modular hoses come in many forms, but all contain at least one connector, T, or branching component. Connectors, T's, and branches generally feature highly engineered injection molded plastic. These are exposed to extreme heat both internally and externally along with constant vibration from the engine. Over time, the plastic becomes brittle and may crack or break leading to a coolant leak. If the brittle components do not crack on their own due to vibration, they are often fractured when the hose is flexed or removed from its port for any other repair. If the modular hose assembly is reinstalled without a thorough inspection of all components and a failure exists, it will leak coolant and eventually lead to an issue with overheating. That, of course, requires additional parts and labor to repair any further damage that has occurred. Even if no cracks are visually present, plastic components under the hood of high mileage vehicles are likely brittle and could fail in the near future. Replace any potentially compromised modular hoses you encounter during a cooling system repair to minimize your chance of a comeback in the future. Quick connectors can also be difficult to reinstall once removed. These often have a U-shaped clip that can be damaged when removed from the port. Attempting to reuse a damaged clip will likely lead to a coolant leak in the future. Finally, reinstalling hoses that have aged sensor ports, flow restrictors, or brittle plastic connectors places your customer's cooling system at risk for future failure. 
To prevent damaging leaks and vehicle comebacks, Gates recommends that you inspect the modular hose assembly and all associated components inside and out whenever a customer comes in for a cooling system repair. If there is any doubt on the condition of the hose assembly, restore the cooling system to its original state with a new assembly from Gates.